Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Leichter, licensed psychologist with Sanford Clinic in Detroit Lakes and senior consultant in behavioral health for the Sanford Health System. While many of us look forward to the holiday season and the coming of snow and the opportunity to participate in winter activities from snowmobiling to skiing, not everyone looks forward to this time of year. Behavioral health professionals have identified a serious mood condition that affects people around this time of year. People with Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD, can develop significant behavioral and physical symptoms in the winter months that can include serious things like depression, excessive sadness, isolation, and irritability. People with this condition will often experience significant weight gain in the wintertime due to a change in their appetite and an increased urge to consume certain kinds of foods that are high in fats and carbohydrates. Other symptoms that people may experience with this disorder include irritability, low energy, fatigue, and a desire to sleep much of the time, a condition we call hypersomnia. SAD often will start in the late fall around October and not abate until spring. Some researchers have likened this condition to a sort of human hibernation response. While the exact cause of SAD is not known, it is thought to be a response in brain neurochemistry to the shortened days and the lack of sunlight that is characterized by winter here in the northern plains such as Minnesota. Sunlight is thought to have a regulatory effect on certain hormones in the brain that regulate the individual's circadian rhythm or sleep-wake cycle. About 6% of the population experiences seasonal affective disorder, though the prevalence of SAD is much higher the further north that one lives. Many more people can experience subclinical forms of the disorder, meaning that they may not meet the full diagnostic criteria, but have some symptoms which interfere with their daily life. Even highly sensitive people who live in southern climates, like Florida or Texas, can experience variations in this condition. The diagnosis of SAD should be made in collaboration with your family doctor or a licensed mental health professional who is familiar with this condition. Treatment for SAD can include a number of different interventions, some of which are fairly simple. For example, your doctor might prescribe simply increasing your exercise and trying to take a daily walk, maybe for as little as 20 minutes a day. Some people find that this helps quite a bit. For other people with SAD, sometimes just spending more time outdoors when it's sunny can be quite helpful. In more complicated cases, your health professional may prescribe a treatment called phototherapy, which is daily exposure to a full spectrum fluorescent light, which sits on a desktop therapeutic light box. The light is the intensity that mimics a spring day here in Minnesota. Thus, we think that it may be tricking your brain into believing that it is actually April when it's still December or January. Your doctor may also prescribe medication or counseling for the condition. People who feel that they have SAD that interferes with their daily functioning should visit with their primary care doctor for more information. Let's all enjoy the winter.